The muscalunch, or muskie, is Pennsylvania's largest game fish. Go get them, anglers. Long, strong, toothy, and fast, adult muskies represent the top of the food chain in our warm water fisheries. A success story still in the making, this noble giant can now be found in waters across the Commonwealth, from the Allegheny, Susquehanna, and Delaware rivers, to Presque Isle Bay, Pima Tuning Reservoir, Raystown, and Nakamixon Lakes, and many others making it more likely than ever before that anglers who seek this fish of 10,000 casts will find one of trophy size. The muscalunge in Pennsylvania is obviously an apex predator. These fish get up, um, the anglers are searching for fish, they're in that 50 inch class, and you know they get up to 52 to 54 inches in some water bodies. Um, obviously, there's nothing out there that's gonna prey on a fish of that size. Despite the muskie's growing abundance, this apex predator is equally delicate when it comes to sustainability and survival. With minimal natural reproduction in lakes, we estimate that most angler muskie encounters can be attributed to stocking and management efforts by the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. So this here is our, what we call our muskie unit. The stocking program begins in northwestern Pennsylvania at the Linesville State Fish Hatchery in Crawford County. So if you've ever caught a muskie in Pennsylvania, there's a very good chance it got its start here at the Linesville State Fish Hatchery. In recent years, the commission has placed new emphasis on muskies and changed its approach to stocking. Results from our coded wire tagging study revealed that stocking fewer but larger fingerlings in the late spring through early summer results in the greatest survival rates. As a result, all musky fingerlings are now stocked as one-year-olds, measuring an average of 12 to 14 inches in size. Now that we're getting up to the 12 and 14 inch range, there's pretty much nothing in these water bodies besides a northern pike, a very large largemouth bass, or another musky that are going to take these fish down. So the likelihood of being preyed upon drastically decreases once we enter this 12 to 14 inch size range. So that's what the, that's what the yearling muskies look like in the winter before they're stocked. These fish were born last April of 2018 and they'll be stocked in June of 2019. About 11, 12 inches right now and hopefully they'll be 12 to 14 inches this summer. At the hatchery, muskies are grown from eggs collected from broodstock found in the neighboring Pima Tuning Reservoir, as well as Edinburgh Lake, Woodcock Creek Lake, and Lake Canadota. Each spring, hatchery staff use trap nets to collect large breeding age fish, which are then transferred back to the Linesville hatchery. Adult muskies are handled with care throughout the controlled spawning process. First, subdued with anesthesia, then placed on a special table able to accommodate larger fish. Gentle pressure is applied to the abdomen to collect up to 60,000 eggs per female. A similar process occurs to collect reproductive material from males. Only purebred muskies are spawned at Linesville and represent the majority of Pennsylvania's stocked muskies, about 35,000 annually. In addition, several thousand hybrid tiger muskies are produced annually at the Union City Hatchery in Erie County, where muskies are spawned with northern pike. Within two weeks, the fertilized eggs will hatch, and fry begin feeding on a yolk sac that sustains them during the first 10 days of life. Once the yolk sac is absorbed, the fry begin to swim and search for food. Initially, they're fed a combination of brine shrimp and dry pellet feed until they're fully converted onto dry feed. As they grow, the muskies are periodically fed minnows to boost their immune systems and maximize growth. But the muskies will remain on dry food pellets until they reach stocking size. Yeah, you can tell they look very much similar to what they look like as adults at this stage. You can see the bars. Um, they're very they're very susceptible to being stressed out at this stage, which is very much different than when they're adults. As they get older, they're a very docile creature. When we have the adults in here taking eggs for them in the springtime, um, we can just reach in the tank and pet these fish and they don't mind at all. Many muskies collected as broodstock have been fitted with a passive integrated transponder or pit tag. The same microchip technology used on household pets can later be used to gather data on these fish if recaught. Through the use of CWT, pit tags, and other methods, Fish and Boat Commission research reveals that within only three to four years, muskies can reach lengths exceeding 30 inches, with some fish reaching 40 inches by age five. 
After five years, fish will continue to add mass over several more years, with some reaching over 20 years of age and perhaps making it to the 50-inch length class. Being the apex predator, they're also not very plentiful. You know, we're shooting, when our area biologists go out and survey these lakes, they're looking for a density of somewhere around one fish per acre. They have the history of being called the fish of 10,000 casts. Here in Pennsylvania, we're kind of managing things, hoping to provide a fishery for our anglers that they can go out and expect to have an experience with one of these fish. The Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission Muskie program is essential to ensure there are good numbers of this trophy sport fish. Guided by modern management plans, a specific focus is to create targeted muskie fishing opportunities across the state. While the pursuit of the muskie will forever require patience and persistence, a successful angler will spend time understanding the habitat, natural feeding patterns, and aggressive tendencies of this species. You know, the muskies coming out of the winter, they, have, they go into a very, uh, a very aggressive feeding pattern, so guys target these fish as soon as the ice comes off in the spring. Um, and guys have a lot of success as these fish try to fatten up from their winter kind of dormancy period. Um, and then, then throughout the summer months, uh, these fish are generally keying on larger fish and uh, they're conserving their energy so that they can put that energy into growth. So during that time period, the anglers are targeting these fish with very fast presentations. They're doing long casts and reeling very fast, so they're trolling for these fish so they can get that instinctive bite. They, you know, they want that muskie to see that bait and only have a millisecond to think about it and they just strike out of instinct. While Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission regulations allow for the legal harvest of muskie, most anglers choose to catch and release these trophy-sized fish. To ensure the survival of the fish, safe handling of your catch is essential. The musky slime coat is very important and protects the fish from disease. Every attempt should be made not to wipe off the slime coat. It's important not to touch the red gill parts. Carefully hold the musky under the gill plate with your fingers wrapping around the lower jaw. A musky should always be handled horizontally, never vertically. When placing a muskie back into the water, there's no need to move the fish back and forth. Allow them to move water through their gills naturally. It is okay to hold the tail if it helps the fish stay upright during recovery. And as with any fish, the least amount of time spent out of the water, the better. For more information on the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission's muskie program, including a guide to locating Pennsylvania's best muskie fishing waters, and the availability of volunteer muskie permits to support our program, visit fishandboat.com.